Hey, this guy doesn't seem like a guard for Ballas. Let's see what he's got to say. He's hiding in that pit because they want to harm him too. Is he giving me the bird? Hey, let's take a look here. He... Uh, I suppose it can be confused with the index finger. I guess we gotta figure out some way to deal with these guys. Kendo and Zembla. Jeez, it's like these it's like these names come out of a I don't know, a martial arts book or something. Please I He's not even giving me a chance to talk. Okay. There are no clues to dealing with what dealing with these guys. How do I... Uh, maybe they'll say something different? I wouldn't dare shake hands with him using my own hand. Blount, are you giving me another subtle clue to what I should be doing here? He doesn't want to shake hands with him, but he said that he wouldn't shake with his own hand. There's a disembodied hand right here that we can use. Let's see what happens. How could anyone be that stupid? The guy just beat up Blount like four or five times. Why would he bother shaking hands with him? Uh, looks like it's not just Goblin royalty that's insane. It looks like everybody in Goblin Land is insane. Or Gobland, as we learned in the first chapter of this game. Well, let's... Oh, we got him. We got him back, and, uh... Let's see if Blunt gives us any more clues on how to deal with Zembla. This guy looks stupid enough to knock himself off the cliff. What does that mean, anyway? Hey, you know, I can get... I can get him behind him. I wonder if... I wonder if I can hit him from behind. Jeez. You know, you can't fault their... It's like, you can be mad at their logic and lack of intelligence, but you can't fault their uh, military training there, especially in being able to uh, whack Blount with a club like that all the time. Oh, uh, well. What to do, what to do, what to do. What to do, what to do, what to do, what to do, what to do. We can't... Knock himself off a cliff? Well, let's let's do random item checking. Will the umbrella help? Nope. Will the plunger help? The golf club didn't help. What about the hand? Stop signaling, Blount. Idiot. Will the breadcrumbs work? Stop wasting bread. There are no birds around to eat. Oh, wait, chumps there. Never mind. What about the shield? Oh, that's real smart. Use the shield before you get hit, not after. You get hurt when you do it after. Uh, the last thing I got is this pepper. Wait, I don't under... What does that mean, anyway? He sneezes, but he said he's stupid enough to knock himself off the cliff. You know, his head seems to be stretching an awful far length in order to accommodate that loud sneeze. I wonder if there's some way he can hit himself on some sort of object that I hang up in front of him. That's weird. There's a branch right in front of him. Maybe I can get to it without... This branch is in a good position, right in front of Zembla's face. We need something hard. We need something that's really hard in order to get Zembla to hit his face on and fall and, I don't know, get unconscious or fall off the cliff. I guess the shield will do. Let's see if we can hand, hang that on the branch. Ah, uh, the plan is forming. 
get back on the rock and toss some pepper. Let's see what else we've got here. Can I get the shield back? Oh, it's not even an item anymore. Oh, that's not good. Okay. What about the wooden club? Can I grab the wooden club? Uh-huh. I have a wooden club. Alright. Let's whack Django. Wait, how many how many aspirins did uh Blount down here? I mean, let's see, he got hit like five or six times. Even if that's children's Tylenol, he should be out cold right now. Well, let's see if Blount has any clues as to how to deal with this guy. Please, I mean. Well, if we talk to him again, maybe there's a clue as to what we should do. This guy looks tough. Maybe Chump can help. Chump doesn't have any items. He doesn't have an inventory. What can he do with Django? Let's see what happens. Huh? Wait, there's an object, a tongue? What do we do with a tongue? Oh, yeah, cartoon physics. I think I know what to do. We're gonna pull off the, we're gonna pull off the old elastic tongue trick. All right, jump. Do your job. Click on the tongue. Wow, that's a lot of force there. Punky, any last words? The boy, the boy, the boy, the boy, the boy, the boy, the boy. This guy looks tough. Maybe Chump can help. Oh, Chump, let's see what you can do. Wait, he just lunges out. That doesn't make much... That, 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 wait a second. He lunges out? A stone? A ladder. Let's try climbing the ladder up here and see if we can knock that stone in his path. Come on, Blount. It's just one freaking rung. You have upper arm strength. I've seen you pull yourself out of a vent. You can just use... You can just climb up to the top. Besides, it's not even that high. You could probably climb up even without the ladder. Ugh, jeez. The wonders of a three-foot-high fence. Okay. There seems to be a rung here, so... We'll use the club and replace the rung. Now do you have any difficulty climbing up, Blount? Gee, that was hard. Oh, I wonder what I wonder what happens when you push the stone. That's the most elastic stone ever. Wait. Punky lunges forward when Chump bothers him. If I push the stone at the right time, maybe Punky will get crushed? Oh, it's worth a shot. Now! Victory is mine! Victory is mine! And I guess not. The key landed right in front of Forbalus. He got out of his hiding place and grabbed it. Winona ran after him. No more guards. No more Forbalus. Even Winona was gone. I was alone, but had the unpleasant sensation of being watched. Oh jeez, who's that? I am King Bond. Who are you to interfere with my attempt to get the Labyrinth Key from Winona? Though I tried every excuse possible, I was left to be devoured by the wolf. Uh-oh. Does this mean I'm gonna, like, have to deal with wolves in the next port of the game? 